Hey there, my name is Daniel, and I am going to help you mirror what's on your MacBook to your Panasonic TV. Don't worry, you're safe now. We're gonna get what's on the screen here to the screen there. And we're gonna do this using an app called MirrorMeister. What's nice about MirrorMeister is that you won't require any extra hardware or cables. It works through your Wi-Fi connection. And it works on any Panasonic TV 2012 or newer. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process step by step. The first thing we're gonna do is connect the MacBook and the TV to the same wireless network. Then we're gonna open up the MirrorMeister app and we're gonna download some audio drivers. And this is really straightforward, so don't worry. Finally, we're gonna mirror what's on the computer to the television. And I'm gonna use a presentation, so let's check it out. Let's connect to the wireless network on the Apple MacBook. So I'm gonna take my mouse and I'm gonna go here and click on my Wi-Fi symbol. And I can see we're connected to Meister Apps Mac Stream. Great, so let's make sure the TV is connected to the same one. So let's grab the remote and I'm gonna hit menu. I'm gonna go down to setup, go all the way down to network, and then I'm gonna hit configuration. And then here at the very bottom, I'm gonna hit network status. You can see it's connected to Meister Apps Max Stream. So that is the right Wi Fi network. All right, we're almost there. Now it's time for us to open up the Mirror Meister app. Just gonna type in Mirror Meister and hit enter. And here we are. We need to make sure we're selected on the right TV. And I wanna go to the TX40G because that is the Panasonic. I'm gonna click that and also. We're gonna learn how to play sound on TV. This will help us install the audio drivers. So just opens up the site automatically and click download audio driver and open up the PKG file. I'm gonna click continue. So the drivers are installed, that was really easy to do. And now we're connected to the right TV and we have the audio drivers installed, but we also need to click enable sound on TV. This makes sure the sound is actually coming through the television and not the laptop. And now I'm gonna hit start mirroring. So it's connecting from the computer to the Panasonic. So everything that's on the computer screen is now on the television screen. So I wanna show a presentation. So here's something uh, whipped up earlier. And this was a series of storyboards we used so we can make a series of educational videos to teach kids English. Aren't we benevolent? So right here, this was the kitchen scene. We're just gonna take a look through that. And what I can do is I can have my laptop down here and just look at the screen or I can look at my references. What we also have here is a video. So if I let this play, it's coming through the TV, but not the laptop. But if I unclick enable sound on TV. Unbelievable. How can you work like that? Then this sound's coming through the laptop. And if I click Enable Sound on TV, it's right back there. One of the aspects is that you can mix media. So it's not just the photo, it's also video. And that was it. That's how we mirrored a presentation with video from your MacBook to your Panasonic TV. Now MirrorMeister also works for your iOS devices like iPhones and iPads and it works for lots of TVs beyond Panasonic. So go to the website, check out the full list, and download the app, and enjoy mirroring to your heart's content.